What is going on YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review the 2007 mixtape by Rocco. Basically this project is called Swag Season and it came out in the late fall of 2007. The thing about this particular project is this actually came out before Rocco's debut album Self Made from the early... The thing about it was is this project came out before Rocco's Self Made album from the winter of 2008. So it's a pretty good pitch to kind of particularly get that. I was kind of curious about some of Rocco's initial hits because because to my knowledge, I mean, I at least thought that Rocco had like a mixtape that came out like in 2006 or something. I don't know if it was like a Gangsta Grills or something. That's kind of low key and hard to find information. He might have dropped like a project in 2006 or earlier in 2007 something like that but this one definitely came out in december 2007 with the pitch behind it was just kind of the concept that his big song that really put rocco on the map was i'm gonna do me definitely pretty big hit throughout the first half of 2008 and stuff but rocco never really managed to capitalize on that particular hit so i just wondered i definitely wondered just because he never put out another album at least in terms of like a studio album as far as a pitch he put out some independent albums and he found future and some stuff like that he was definitely big around the atlanta scene he did a lot of he did a lot of independent and underground type projects throughout like the early 2010s and late 2000s and stuff i was very curious about rocco to see if he had any other hits apart from just amadou me and this is mixtape type fair this with his mixtape type fair and other hits that he could have amalgamated especially in his prime years as far as that pitch kind of happens with this so this is right this is once again this is right before rocco's self-made album from early 2008 came out in late 2007 the pitch behind is pretty good prime years to kind of get that particular stuff unfortunately Rocco kind of fails to capitalize on um and do me as far as that being his biggest hit it's kind of the concept that I think this was the breakout project that that song was particularly kind of on this is probably the mixtape that helped put that song on the map but the unfortunate thing about it is Rocco does not really try to make further club hits there are a series of songs there's at least four songs on there's four songs on this particular mixtape that are also on the self-made album so he took a lot of those highlights from this particular project and threw them on there but I would have to say the thing about it is is tomorrow is another one and apart from um and do me and tomorrow there's really not too many nightclub type hits that just have the sheer ferocious kind of energy of those particular songs i definitely feel like tomorrow is a pretty good highlight that's kind of overlooked especially in today's times i would have to suppose most people probably just know rocco for um and do me and not much else but this tomorrow is a pretty good highlighted hit and i reviewed that on the self-made album back in february 2023 so it's a pretty good concept to kind of get that one but i look after it's just the fact that rocco does have like some kind of in between i feel like rocco does have like some in between kind of house party type gems on here but for the most part it's pretty lazy it's just kind of a concept that's just it kind of feels like sleepwalking through this particular type stuff i mean i like the concept i think rocco realized that he had the budget and the singles and that type of stuff but he just doesn't have the sheer full-blown hits in terms of capitalizing on like what could have been a further prime if he had done it a little bit better it's just kind of i mean i feel like it, this was kind of more cresting and coasting on just like two mammoth hits that this was kind of the concept of not really getting more it's within that realm of being able to do it it's not like this is a bad and horrid project it's just kind of middle of the road and a little bit lukewarm as far as that pitch kind of happens just because i definitely think <clears throat> I definitely think this project needed at least another highlight or two like I'm do me there are some decent kind of house party type fare on this particular project but in terms of like nightlife on the scale of I'm do me and tomorrow and some of those type ones this is very minimal I'd have to suppose but we'll go ahead and recommend some of these songs on here there's 16 songs on this particular mixtape there's actually 21 songs on here but five of them are just talking skits I'd have to suppose that narrows it down to 16 and then minus like the four songs that are on self-made which are almost songs I recommend all four of those songs the self-made albums the self-made album is definitely pretty damn good so i would have to recommend these four songs which the four songs would be woke up which is also this morning which is a pretty good highlight one that's definitely kind of like an in the morning kind of wake and bake kind of hustle grind as far as that pitch kind of happens i'm do me which is rocco's mammoth single and that's particularly in mixtape format on this particular project uh tomorrow which is also the second single off of self-made which is another good kind of nightclub highlight i'd have to suppose even though it's not quite as mammoth as i'm do me and then there's another one on here which is busy which is kind of like an in-between kind of hustle type tune so some good concepts to kind of get those songs but they're almost songs just because they're on self-made you might as well just purchase that particular album to get those but i would have to say out of the remaining 12 songs on this particular mixtape that i recommend i wound up recommending to you six so we'll go ahead and so the six songs i recommend would be money ain't no object now you talk in trap party i got stripes new everything and go ham so it's pretty brief and minimal for the most part just about half the project in terms of the the new songs that have to suppose as far as that pitch kind of happens but this is still a pretty relatively worthy project definitely has some decent gems on here a particular one that's pretty much 
you absolutely need another song like if you absolutely need another song like I'm gonna do me to some real good night Vinny type of sets if you're just looking for like the main casual type hits I would definitely have to suppose I'd say now you talking is a pretty good one for that this one this one's definitely a pretty highlighted one this is like a pasted kind of glittery sparkling night pizzazz of a song I would definitely feel like this is just a regular kind of festive this song is just a regular kind of festive venue heat of a song definitely and this is a pretty good bop so this song is a pretty good bop. This one definitely has one of the most sparkling kind of beats on here. This one's just really paced. I mean, this one's a little bit more quick than like I'ma do me. I'ma do me is just kind of a looming kind of great lead single type feel. Just with that particular pitch, it's definitely reminiscent of like 2000s era trap. And this pitch is like that as far as that particular kind of happens. It's a real good kind of southern hit as far as that kind of goes. But this one's a little bit more of like a jittery type one. Just a little bit more of like a rave type one to kind of have like a decent, pretty solid dance pace. Joel Santana of Dipsets on this particular song, he does a pretty good job with this also so is this a pretty highlighted one to kind of get if you want something that's a little bit more slowed down than Amon do me trap party is a pretty good highlight for that this is like a very relaxed and trap party is like a very relaxed and kind of regular feel house party gem i would definitely have to feel like and this is just a jovial kind of sluggish smoke sesh of a song i would definitely say so this is a pretty good one a little bit more lazed of one i'm gonna do me is a little bit more up tempo i'm gonna do me is like a pretty good high mid tempo type one to kind of get but this one's kind of like a more low mid tempo type one this is a really malaise type one this is like a sing songy type one this is like a kind of Trap party is like a sing-songy type one. Rocco doesn't really rap as much on this particular song as much as he kind of sings his way through it. It's a pretty good pitch to kind of get this one. But this one just has a real regular type feel. It's just interesting because this one's not really that much of like a dance job. I mean, I definitely, I would definitely have to say I see trap party is like a pretty good house party type appeal about it. But I just would have to suppose it's just kind of a lot more lazed about it. It's a more regular. I'd say trap party is just a little bit more malaise. This kind of has like a regular type feel about it. Just real standard kind of pitch as far as that particular aspect kind of happens. Just real sluggish type one. And another one that's pretty similar to that is go ham another one that's pretty similar to that is go ham this is like a woozy kind of hazy house party white noise of a song go ham is like a woozy kind of hazy house party white noise of a song i'd have to suppose it's like an easy regular this is definitely like some easy regular kind of mingle music i would have to say and this is just a good hangout kind of tune for playstation music stuff like that smokish and snackish things of that nature it's just some good concepts the thing about rock on this particular project is just a lot of these are just kind of more low-key type sessions as far as that kind of happens just low-key kind of lazy smoke sessions just stuff like that you know in between madden nfl playstation type madden nfl playstation type music devil may cry grand theft auto some of that type of stuff just within that relative kind of malaise type pitch just real kind of kickback type tone as far as that kind of happens these are not even dance tunes i don't feel like these are ladies kind of twerk tunes and stuff like that as far as that pitch kind of goes i mean apart from like now you talk in and i'm gonna do me there's just not a ton of songs that really have that particular kind of edge about it. it's just interesting to kind of get some of these but if you're just looking for some house party type appeals with like a more chill and this kind of more kickback type type tone these are some good ones for that and i feel like kind of an abstract and kind of exotic type beat on here and song on here would be new everything this is definitely like a great middle new everything is like a great middle eastern kind of flute beat i would definitely have to suppose this is just some groovy this is some groovy kind of swag rap i would feel like and this is just an elegant and primped kind of night i would definitely have to suppose this is a pretty nice one this has that elegant type feel about it a little bit more broomed a little bit more stuff like that just a little a little bit more ritzy kind of pizzazz about it. it's just an interesting type song this is the sort of stuff that ti or young jock would do some of those types of swag rappers as far as that pitch kind of happens it's a good aspect that just has a lot of charisma and charm about it i guess what i suppose it's a pretty good highlight to kind of get definitely see that this can kind of this is a little bit more localized and a little bit more lazy to be like night venue and nightclub type music but i would have to say it's just a decent kind of hangout type tune just in a more primped kind of sense i would have to suppose it's kind of a good pitch just not necessarily playstation hangout kind of music just kick back and just not so much playstation kickback type music but i would have to say it kind of reminds me of just like some standard kind of just smoke sessions just in a more kind of more elegant type of sense it's the ritzier kind of sense with some money around stuff like that as far as that pitch kind of goes it's a little bit more it's a little bit more renovated as far as that pitch kind of particularly happens with it but it's a good concept then i got stripes is a pretty good highlight this is like a grim kind of gruesome dark 2000s era trap type music i'd have to suppose this has a mellow and regular this is kind of some mellow and regular around the house type heat i would suppose so this is another kind of highlighted one similar to trap party and go ham just the same sort of pitch just kind of around the house just maybe a couple folks around something like that just kind of snackish type tunes just get dinner some burger king some stuff like that some good pizza little caesar something within that pitch just relative kind of kickback this one's a little bit more of like a little bit more of a turn up type song this one's kind of jittery just within the same pitch it's like now you talk but not quite as heavy as now you talk and it's just a good pitch to kind of get this particular one and i feel like this is like a mini almost kind of 
has a decent dance pace about it, but not really like a full-blown dance type tune, just kind of within a decent pitch of just having like some pizzazz about it, I suppose. So shoddy lows on this particular song is just a good, shoddy lows on this particular song is just a good type pitch to kind of get with this particular one. It's just a good highlight to kind of overall have. A lot of these have some pretty highlight type beats, but they're just kind of more, like I feel like a lot of these are just more kickback type tunes, but they have a pretty good pitch for like some house party type affairs. So some good stuff to kind of get a lot of these sorts of pitch can happen. So then money ain't no object's a pretty good highlighted one. Money ain't no object is a pretty highlighted one. This is like a glimmering kind of looming wintry night brush of a song. I'd have to suppose this is just an out and about kind of ruminating type tune. The song is just an out and about kind of ruminating type tune. I would have to suppose this is a pretty good highlight to kind of get. This one definitely has a more dramatic type feel about it. Just something money ain't no object is one that has a more dramatic type tone about it just within the pitch of kind of being more imperative and stuff like that just a real kind of just a real kind of evening wintry brush i'd have to suppose a good highlight to kind of stroll around in like the colder seasons a real good highlight to kind of stroll around in like the colder seasons stuff like that get some snackage some checks mix and stuff like that some two liters just overall good pitches pick up a pizza pick up some bagels some stuff like that get some croissants some of those type pitches just within the night flash and pizzazz of that just within the pitch of night and residential type travers as far as that pitch kind of happens with it that's basically the six songs i recommend out of 12 on this particular mixtape i'd have to suppose so there's really it's really 10 out of 16 but talk about some of these songs i don't recommend on here like talking my language was just kind of a poor one didn't really like the beat arrangement of that particular one it was just kind of a clumsy one in execution just really kind of felt messy and all over the place this was not really snappy and just kind of one that had a real good amount of eloquence about it that just delivered that well I kind of feel like the real deal was just a clumsy type one, especially in the chorus. That was just a real kind of abrasive one that just really was not that melodic to listen to and just kind of didn't really have the good arrangements of something that just kind of was more fitting and soothing as far as that pitch kind of happened. Money was just kind of a clumsy song. That one was kind of a short type song that just didn't deliver quite as well. Just the execution of that particular one just didn't deliver quite as well as some of these other ones. It's just kind of one that was trying to be more of like a hustle type tune but didn't really nail it that well. I feel like Still on My Grind was just kind of a struggle type song that just didn't. I feel like Still on My Grind was just kind of a struggle type tune that just didn't have an interesting enough production as far as that pitch kind of particularly happened with it. Just the execution of that particular song was just not that quality. I feel like it was just kind of. I mean, I feel like Rick Ross was kind of similar to a song by Rick Ross called Pots and Pans off of his Port of Miami type album. It just didn't really have a good. But the pitch behind Still on My Grind just didn't nail it that well, I'd have to suppose. And then Just Like Me was kind of a worse version of Money Ain't No Object. It didn't really nail it quite as well. That one was trying to be like another kind of wintry brush type one just with the more imperative type sense but this didn't nail it quite as well jim jones is on that particular song but jim jones is on that particular song but it didn't really help that much and then i'd have to and then i'd have to suppose that my fallen friends is just kind of a poor homely type song that just didn't really have a good arrangement that one was just and then my fallen friends is just a poor type song for fallen homies as far as that pitch kind of particularly happened with it but it just didn't have a good arrangement of really the production fair and stuff like that as far as the song composition kind of went with it, it was just not a very compelling one to kind of get within that feel as far as that pitch kind of happened, I just felt like it was kind of rough around the edges and didn't really nail it that well. So that's the concept about this particular mixtape. So me recommending basically 6 out of 12 songs on this particular mixtape plus the 4 almost songs, which would be 10 out of 16, I'd have to suppose. So basically... I'm going to go ahead and score this mixtape like a 6.5 out of 10. I feel like it would be like a 5 or 5.75, somewhere in that territory, because really out of the new songs that are on here that are not on Self Made, I only wound up liking exactly half. But I'd have to suppose I still think some of these almost songs are a good kind of pitch to kind of get them in more mixtape format. And these are good songs, and this project did come out before Self Made, so the album hadn't been on there for that concept to have kind of been just yet. So it's just a good concept. Get some of these singles like Tomorrow and I'm going to Do Me kind of in more mixtape format. There's four songs on is self-made on this particular project plus six songs plus six bonus songs that have Rocco and his more prime type pitch like he was in late 2007 and early 2008 so it's a good concept to get some extra Rocco just within that pitch six and a half out of ten the social score i'm going to go ahead and give like a 6.25 out of ten though just because the pitch about it there are some decent singles on this particular project like tomorrow and i'm gonna do me with the concept behind it a lot of this is just a lot more malaise a lot of this is just more malaise house party type music that this has a lot more relaxed type sense and just for like a calmer type night and evening as far as that pitch kind of has with it this is not a very raucous type album apart from like a song like uh apart from like a song like now you talk and for the most part this is pretty much like more smoke session type music more so than heavy 
coffee, drinkage, stuff like that. It's kind of a more crazed and dance festivity type night. Not to say that this is a horrid project or a real kind of, I mean, it's just relatively on the verge. It's kind of in the realm of lukewarm just because it just doesn't really capitalize on like the moments that are some of Rocco's best. I definitely feel like he needed more songs like Tomorrow and I'm Do. I definitely feel like Rocco needed more moments like Tomorrow and I'm Do Me as far as that pitch kind of particular happened. Those were definitely some of his biggest moments. I look after the concept of it. This, this particular mixtape just does not do a good job of capitalizing on some of Rocco's strengths and just kind of comes off as more lukewarm just within the execution and overall variety as far as this project kind of goes. I mean, this is a varietized mixtape. It does have some hits on. It does have some minor songwriting on here with songs like My Fallen Friends and with songs like My Fallen Friends, even though I don't recommend that one, and Still on My Grind that do try some new things or at least attempt to. But it's just kind of the concept that Rocco is kind of aiming for more of like a more widespread type mixtape, but he just doesn't always pull it off just within that pitch. This is kind of the concept. I definitely think Rocco needed a lot more strengths as far as that particular pitch kind of happened just within the aspect of like some social outings and stuff like that. And it's not to say that there aren't outing songs on here. It's just kind of been a more regular and kind of more malaise kind of house party type fair as far as that pitch kind of happens with this. Interesting to get some of these house party type songs. Songs like uh, songs like Trap Party, Go Ham, and I Got Stripes are some good variations. So like some more relaxed, kind of more lazy, just kind of hangout type music just within that sense. But it's just kind of the concept of just talking about this particular tape. It's just the fact that it just is kind of, it's just kind of haphazard, I'd have to suppose. And you'll probably notice that when you look for like the best moment, it's easy to kind of rap. It's easy to kind of make a summary about Rocco and just say that he's a one-hit wonder. But he does have some other hits. There's just some pretty balanced and pretty regular type. There's just some pretty regular vanilla evening type fairs as far as that pitch kind of happens with some house party type appeals and a couple nightclub gems like Now You Talking and I'm Gonna Do Me and Tomorrow and some of those type ones. So it's just kind of the aspect. There's just not a ton of them. It's just kind of the concept. It, just is try, it tries some tricks on here that don't always work. It's kind of a widespread type mixtape that was just trying to get like the songwriting more fleshed out and swag rap kind of and swag rap kind of fleshed out, but it just doesn't always pull it off just within that pitch. So that's kind of the concept about it. But in terms of the future, like Rocco has been kind of quiet in recent times. He was more of a product of like the 2000s rap as far as that pitch kind of happens with it he does have some good stuff i would have to say don't ignore this mixtape just because i kind of feel like it's lukewarm i mean there's some concepts to be able to find some gems it's just kind of in a different balance it's just a lot more relaxed kind of hangout type music i'd have to suppose with a couple nightclub songs on here and some songs from self-made as far as that pitch kind of happens with it. it's just kind of the concept that's just not overwhelming late just like a highlight just a complete knock out of the park just a complete ko and knock out of the park as far as that pitch kind of happens with it but i do recommend some of this stuff i'll probably get to some more rocco down the road if I can find it. If I could find that 2006 mixtape by Rocco, if he really did drop a project in 2006 or something like that, I'll definitely get to that. Probably get to some more 2007 Rocco, 2008 Rocco, some stuff like that. So we'll get to some more of these, but this is a pretty decently highlighted one. It's kind of haphazard. It does have some gems on here. It's just in a different sense, a more hangout type sense, but it's just kind of just doesn't capitalize on it full blown correctly, but it does have some decent gems on here.